I'm Nicole Griffin bringing you the latest WRTV headlines. An initiative by the U.S. Marshal Service led to the arrest of more than 60 fugitives, gang members, sex offenders, and violent criminals in our state. The 30-day initiative called Operation North Star targeted violent offenders in 10 cities who had existing arrest warrants. Indianapolis was one of the cities selected due to a large increase in homicides and shootings. In all, 1,500 fugitives were arrested across all 10 of the cities. Cities. More than 160 guns were also confiscated along with 72 pounds of drugs. A leader with the Southport Police Department wants to help make a change when it comes to gun violence here in Indianapolis. In 2020, Assistant Chief Lassie Davis became the first African-American woman to join Southport PD's command staff. Davis lost her son in a shooting more than 10 years ago. Recently, her nephew was shot and killed in Tennessee. Along with her assistant chief duties, Davis works as a victim assistance counselor for IMPD. She told WRTV that she wants to help those who are victims of gun violence because she knows what those families are going through. I chose to make a change. You have to be the change you want to see. If you want change, you got to make change. And the only way you're going to do, do that is to go out and do something about what you see, what you're tired of seeing. What I'm tired of seeing, what we all are tired of seeing in this city, and that's violence. Davis is calling on other parents to be a part of the change as well by talking with their kids and keeping track of where they are. The Indianapolis Housing Agency is sharing pictures of some of the progress made now that temporary maintenance workers have started working at at least two properties. These are images here from the Martindale on Baltimore Avenue. Last month, the city approved $250,000 for the agency to hire 16 workers to respond to a backlog of maintenance and repair requests from residents. Before that, the agency had four maintenance workers handling 1,600 units across multiple properties. IHA officials say they are grateful for the extra hands.